Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all alright. So, as you can tell from the title, this is just a Slimming World update. Um, I did get weighed on Saturday, <clears throat> just gone, but I haven't had time to upload or edit or even record this video. So, I'm, it is dark at the moment. It is now quarter past eight um, on what day? I don't even know what day. Monday the 27th. So this is the only time really I've got to be able to do this video basically. Um, so you won't, you, I can't even speak, I'm that tongue tied and faffy and tired. <laughs> right, um, you won't have known this yet as today um, but basically my dad pops as you probably all know him as. And you've probably seen him pottering about on my videos. Um, he has gone in to hospital. There's nothing to worry about. Well, you know. Um, is that he, he has had this appointment for a while, which is why I haven't said anything or mentioned it. Because it's been one of those um, appointments for surgery that has been cancelled about five or six times. Which isn't the hospital's fault or the surgeon's fault. It's just they didn't have the aftercare bed ready. Um, so that was basically what he was waiting on. He was waiting for an aftercare bed. Um, so he could have his operation he had to have, which was at the time was supposed to be a double heart bypass surgery. Um, but he ended up being a triple in the end. He, oh God, sorry, I get really emotional talking about it. <laughs> he is doing well. He is recovering okay, as as can be. He's still in hospital, obviously, at the moment. Could could be another few weeks yet no nobody knows how long um he's in there it all depends on in each individual and how he gets on um, but he's doing really well i'm really proud of him i'm so so proud of him he's a proper little trooper um he never he never quits um when something needs to be done my dad is on it and he is an absolute superstar um i've been up there every day to visit him since Friday, the day he had his operation, he went in last Thursday overnight ready to be prepared and x-rays and whatnot and then the operation was on the Friday. It took about eight hours altogether um, but it all went well, it all went okay, um, there was no complications or anything. Um, but he's very sore, you know, he's in quite a bit of pain, his throat's quite sore where he's had pipes and things down his throat, so he finds it difficult to talk. Um, but he's doing really well. He got up and about um, yesterday. That's up and about. He got himself up to be able to walk himself very slowly. But he did it um, to the toilet and back. And he's got himself up and into his chair. And he did that while me and Linda wasn't there as well. So he did that on his own. So as I say, he is a true superstar. And I'm so proud of him. Um, I just can't wait for him to get better and to be able to come home. So I can look after him better. Um... I do what I can for him in the hospital, but obviously there's only so much I can do. Um, but I do take him bits and pieces. I took him his grapes in there for him because he loves his grapes. But I had to peel them all off the stems and whatnot because he, he just doesn't, didn't have the energy to sit there and pick them all apart. Um, so yeah, he's been munching on his grapes. He, he hasn't really got much of an appetite. But yeah, anyway, this isn't <laughs> a life update. But I just thought I'd say where I've been, why I haven't been able to do this video, so I'm going to stop waffling on about it now, for, for now, um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know why I haven't done this video sooner, so, anyway, sorry, I've got a little, little peewee annoying me here, what is it you want, I don't know what you want, <laughs> she's just pecking guys, she's just pecking me, she's just being a little nose, I know I love you too, um, so anyway, my week has been okay, um, I've been doing alright with my body magic and things, still taking this little madam for a walk every day, I haven't the past couple of days though, but I'm on about the week that I've had to weigh in, I've just been really busy at the moment, um, so yeah, we've, I've had a really good week, I've been having my speed foods, my proteins, I've been drinking at least two H2O on the go bottles a day, um, which is like the hydrate mate, it's just cheaper from home bargains for a couple of quid. So I'm trying to drink at least two of those a day. 
um, I've been cutting back on the sugary side of things. I haven't been having my full 15 sins every day. I'm not saying you shouldn't. It's just I haven't I haven't needed them to be honest. I've had what I wanted within my sins and my free foods and all that sort of stuff. But I just haven't felt like I've needed them. Also, some days I've had four, five, nine. Um, some days I've had ten just varying on what I fancied that day and what I wanted and what I didn't want but I have been having a lot of um, fruit and yoghurt so when I've been feeling hungry and for a little pudding I've just been having fruit and yoghurt sometimes I'll save my bee choice and um, some Biscoff spread make up my oats with water my bee choice 40 grams put a level tablespoon of the Biscoff biscuit spread in there for four and a half sins mix that leave it all to set so it's all nice and gooey and it's just nice and spongy if you leave it and then I've just been layering like some yoghurt on as well and some fruit and mainly like um, blueberries and strawberries which are speed food. I've had a couple of bananas this week. I'm being brave because if you followed me for a while you know that bananas don't like me. But I think I've had two or three bananas the week of weighing. Um, I've had a couple of bananas and I've enjoyed them. Um, I've been making sure I have my bee choice. I've been switching up my bee choice. I've, I've been having like hi fi bars one day, oats one day, I've had um, the uh, the rolls, I can't remember what they're called now, fichetti rolls or something, I don't know, um, but I'm sure you know what I'm on about, um, I've, had, I've had one of those, uh, yeah so I've just been changing it up instead of sticking to the same thing over and over and over again which is what I was doing wrong before I think, I just got stuck in a rut, I do eat the foods that I do like more more often don't get me wrong i don't change it over that much i'm not that brave <laughs> i like to stick to what i know but i have um tried switching it up a little bit uh to things i know i like but just not ott at routes guys not not that adventurous um yeah and i've had i can't i can't off the top of my head i can't think of what meals i've had i should get my food diary but it's downstairs i have been filling it out every day which has helped me keep track of what I'm having and what I'm not having to see if I'm having enough speed foods which I have been I've had plenty more speed foods so I'm quite proud of that um, but I've made turkey burgers using the 2% fat mints from Lidl's oh they were lovely I prefer them to the mints the 5% mints beef burgers that you can make because the turkey burgers just stay that size like I made a big patty I got four big patties out of it I didn't eat more than once could have um, but I made like nice big patties and they stayed they didn't shrink they were really like not over the top juicier but they were more juicy and flavoursome I put some herbs and some spices and um, I think I put some balsamic vinegar in there as well and oh they were lovely I did buy some more mints yesterday to make some more because they were just good so let me know in this video if you're interested in seeing how I make the turkey patties um, and I will do that for you when I get five minutes but I will um, but yeah they were lovely um, I had that with some chips and a little side salad oh it was lovely I've had uh, been making my own vegetable soups been enjoying the Weight Watchers um, tomato soup for a sin with some Slimming World chips instead of bread and been dinking those in there it's been lovely sometimes with my A choice of cheese on as well so cheesy chips and a nice soup I've just been changing things and things that are easier for me to have instead of having to stand up preparing too much because I just need to hurry it up. Um, so yeah, I've been having more speed food, I've been having a lot of salads. And yeah, just just enjoying the plan and keeping it simple. I didn't do any SP days, I just did the normal on plan, everyday on plan routine, you know. Um, I did um, a few workouts, home workouts as well. I think I did three last week. Um, just in my room, nothing too extreme, but something just to get my heart pumping, get me moving just to burn my calories and yes I'm going to stop waffling so on to the results I did have my little there it is so I went into a group oh, I didn't change it did I should have changed it quickly so yeah I went into I stayed to group this time as well usually I don't stay I'm, I've been terrible for it but if I've got the time now at the moment I am trying my best to stay to group so I did, I stayed to group and I took everything in and just took that time out for myself, that, that hour for myself just to 
taking what's important to me for a little while and just to stay focused and get some new ideas and just to chat to people that are just going through the same thing as me and mm, yeah just it's just good to take the time out for yourself guys if you don't stay to a group just try your hardest to at least stay a few times a week if you can um, but anyway I went in I stepped on the scales and I had a loss I had a loss of two pounds so yeah that is a blooming good loss for me if you know me guys you know that two pounds was a blooming good loss so I am happy that I lost two pounds I'll just show you my book if you hear the door that's Linda going, coming up the stairs so I'm just getting along you going to see that do you so so there it is um I don't know if you can see. Ooh. So yes, I lost two pounds, and so far in total, I have lost three and a half pounds. And I also got my gold body magic award. So I've got all my shinies on the Mad Body Magic bar one, which is platinum, which is something you just take into routine. It's just an everyday thing where you, you know, it's just constant, um, which I will aim for, but. I don't think that'll be just yet because I want to be truthful with it, you know, guys. I want to give it a good go before I say yes. I do it all the time for now. <laughs> so yeah, I got those anyway. That's been my week, um, and is going to be my ongoing week again. I am trying to be sensible, so I did make some soup so that when I visit Dad in hospital, um, I've got soup when I get home because it is always really late. Because once I get there, I don't want to go. I don't like to leave him. I don't like to see his little face when I've got to leave. So it is usually late. Um, I don't really eat breakfast. I know you should. If you do, you do. But I'm not really a breakfast person. I'm not going to make myself eat if I don't want to. I'd rather just do what works for me. So I haven't really been having breakfast. Um, if I do get hungry at that time, I just grab an apple or a banana or a bit of yoghurt, a bit of fruit. If I fancy it. Um, and yeah. Like been snacking on ham a lot as well so if I go to hospital I'll take some ham with me so yeah just doing the best I can with what I can at the moment to be honest but we shall see next week anyway because yeah I haven't had much speed food and things so I haven't eaten yet today either <laughs> right did I no I did I had some I had one of my soups I had a vegetable my slimming world vegetable soup that I made myself I had that, I'd have some ham with it but I didn't fancy that so shall be at that. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that was me. Thanks for watching, love you all bunches, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all in another video. I hope you all have a brilliant week. If you've been wired already, let me know in the comments down below how you got on and if not, good luck guys, we can do this and we will do this together. So yeah, thanks for watching. Mwah.